Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial, the video tutorial part 7. So in my last video I was uh, explaining about the evaluate step. Evaluate. How to evaluate the SQL statements in when working with Cobol V2 program and we saw the syntax and how do we achieve it and also earlier to that one I was explaining about the important queries the, uh, that might be used in the real time that is uh, queries, subqueries and correlated subqueries. So in this video I would like to share you something about the importance of host variables. When you start working on this Cobol V2 programs so you will be coming across the host variables so before you go go into that part so let us understand what is host variables and it, it, its importance so host variable is a temporary variable which is declared in working storage section with the data type length that is equal to db2 column data type length now we are aware that uh, you might have practiced different kind of COBOL, I mean sorry, uh, SQL commands like uh, DDL, DML and DCL commands and uh, you might have a declared while creating a table you might have uh, you might have declared those data types and these things right. So when coming with the uh, vision let us see the how the COBOL and DB2 declarations uh, differs. So so if you are, if it is a int when you are when you come to the cobol programming so it will come it will be calculated as the data type will be like uh, s9 of 9 comp and same way small int s9 of 4 comp decimal s9 of mv9 comps okay char x of n where char will be converted to s9 of 4 comp x of n date x of 10 time x of 8 time stamp and so on so here the important point over here is with there are two ways of creating in a host variables that is host variables are nothing but working storage uh, local variables in the COBOL statements so in this converted to s of 4 and uh, the other are in the same way so so declaration of host variables host variables can be declared manually or by using DCL gen tool so we'll be looking in both the ways, two ways, how do we declare manually and how do we declare DCL Gen. DCL Gen, DCL Gen tool is very powerful, so it is better practice to use DCL Gen tool. So DCL Gen tool table name will be used as input and PES member name will be used as output. So DG, DCL Gen copybook that is member must be copied under working storage section that is using include member name. So uh, let us assume that you have created a table using uh, you created a table and table is having the properties uh, properties and uh, it is stored in some copy books so in order to co call that copy book so you need to have you need to include the statements in exec sql and in index exec so we will see a straight uh, we will now see a steps how do how do we handle the situations so step one create a table that is using qmf or spoofy which is explained in my previous video so you will be creating a table either using qmf or spoofy then insert few record into the tables to make the table is not empty and open your spoofy so in your spoofy you can see a different options like a dcl gen program compile debind run and debit so now you select dcl gen over here so once you enter into this dcl gen so you have an uh, you have uh, DCL gen properties are open where you can see a different kinds of fields, host table name, table owner, their locations, and so on. So my table name is EMP, and uh, where do you where do I, where do you, uh, you want to store your copybook or the structure of this EMP table, and uh, its uh, host variables here in this library. Okay, so this is the new or uh, a replace one. No, it's a new one. If you are the why do we use is the use this uh, option is like if it is a new table just add it as an add if it is an existing table and you have add added an extra values to this I mean extra fields to this table then you can use replace so uh, column label uh, yes and uh, host variable name prefix H HV or HS or anything anything whatever it's, uh, it's convenient to you that will be get added to your field names so once you uh, once you have given this and pressed enter so your EMP ta table structure is created so once you open this particular library uh, previous library you can see the structure DCL gen employee name I mean sorry employee table where it is stored action COBOL so you're working with COBOL it can be PL1 or PL by 1 so HS whatever the names you have given here 
so it can be hv and instead of hs i give as hv so it will be given as game so this was this will be your sql statement when you directly declare it and the cobol declaration so you can see employee record so your table name emp is converted as employee record and your host employee underscore id is converted as host variable employee id car is converted to x of 5 x of 20 and decimal is converted to s9 of 4 these things so and it creates an extra variables called indicator variable structure so this is how uh, dcl gen or host variable works so I would be coming up with a detailed example or a program how do we use these host variables and how do we uh, include this DC, uh, this table structure and how do we use this copybook and so on. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like, if you if you if you feel this video is important, kindly please share, comment, or like on this, like on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and wonderful day.